Our processional hymn today is hymn number 399. Please stand as you are able and join us in singing. seated. Today is a day that we confirm 34 of our confirmands for this year. 
Uh, throughout this entire year, they have de devoted themselves to study. Uh, they have sought to learn more about themselves, to learn more about God. And this is the last part of an entire year process. Uh, they've been on retreats together. They've been in service projects toge together. Uh, they've worked individually with different mentors all throughout their entire sixth grade year. And so now today they come to profess their faith openly before you. Uh, and what we want to do as a church, as a body of believer, is to celebrate and to confirm that vow of faith that they take today. So I want to invite Donna at this time, Donna Hightower, our children's director, to come. And I want to invite the compromands if you will come and take your position around the altar. Okay, y'all can come on up. <laughs> Just like we practice. I want to invite the parents to come if you would stand behind your, your child at this time as well. And then mentors will be lining up on the sides of the sanctuary. Okay, guys, I want to ask you to now, uh, before this congregation, to take your vows of faith. And so do you, in the presence of God, in this congregation, renew the solemn vow and promise made at your baptism? If so, answer, I do. And do you truly and earnestly repent of your sins? If so, answer, I do. And do you believe in God the Father, creator of the heavens and the earth? And if so, answer, I do. And do you believe in Jesus Christ? And if so, answer, I do. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit? If so, answer, I do. And do you receive and profess the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and the New Testament? If so, answer, I do. And do you promise and according to the grace given you to keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of your life as faithful members of Christ's holy church? If so, answer, I do. Julia Caroline Alexander. Julia Caroline Alexander, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May God's grace and mercy rest upon you all the days of your life. And may the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace, that by spirit confirm you in the faith and fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Ella Lois Arnold. Ella Blois Arnold, the Lord defend you with his heavenly grace and by his spirit confirm you in the faith and the fellowship of all true disciples of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lucas Baker Arrington.
Lucas Baker Arrington, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sarah Golden Boyd. Sarah Golden Boyd, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as faithful member of, and disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ashley Catherine Coppage. Ashley Catherine Coppage. The Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madeline Catherine Rosa Cornavaca. Madeline Catherine Rosa Cornavaca, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Davis. Truett Floyd Davis, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. May God's grace and mercy rest upon you all the days of your life. And may the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Avery Louise Ellis. Avery Louise Ellis. The Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Ulf Ellis. Catherine Bowles Ellis, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Gross. Rosemary Bailey Gross, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ray Hinton. Lily Ray Hinton, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jack Hanford Ivy. Jack Hanford Ivy, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. A. Jewel. Sarah Renee Jewell, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Catherine Cole Kinnamer. Catherine Cole Kenimer, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Catherine Cole Kenimer, the Holy Spirit work within you that having, been through, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Cameron Yates Kersey. Cameron Yates, Kersey, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Henry Hogland Lampton. Henry Hoglin Lampton, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Elijah Brooks Land. Elijah Brooks Land, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good job. Eva Catherine Land. Eva Catherine Land, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Creighton Addis Lawrence. Creighton, Addis, Lawrence, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Emily Carson Lorenz. Emily Carson Lorenz, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. William Thomas Mayer. William Thomas Mayer, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen.
William Bradley McGonagall. William Bradley McGonagall, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Susan Chapman Middlebrook. Susan Chapman Middlebrooks, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Margaret Crockett Miller. Margaret Crockett Miller, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. James Michael Mosier. James Michael Mosier, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Henley Elizabeth Parker. Henley Elizabeth Parker, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Caroline Flournoy Pease. Caroline Flournoy Pease, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Vivian Cade Rayfield.
Vivian Cade Rayfield, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born of water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Caitlin Elizabeth Shaw. Caitlin Elizabeth Shaw, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Carolina McCarran Sheffield. Carolina McCarran Sheffield. The Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jacob Wade Trotter. Jacob Wade Trotter, the Holy Spirit work within you, that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Richard Spencer Waddell IV. Richard Spencer Waddell IV, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ripley Lynn Wilcox. Ripley Lynn Wilcox, the Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Robert Cumming Wilson the Fifth. Robert Cumming Wilson the Fifth. The Holy Spirit work within you that having been born through water and the Spirit, you may live as a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen.
If you'll notice, there's a handout in your bulletin. I want to invite you to take that as these confirmands now take their vow of membership uh, to St. Paul. There's a response afterwards. So I want to invite you all to stand. Not congregation, sorry, confirmands. Uh, will you be faithful to the United Methodist Church with your prayers, your presence, your gift, your service, and your witness for the transformation of the world? If so, answer, I will. And then listen on behalf of the congregation. We give thanks for all that God has already given you and welcome you in Christian love as members together with you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church. We renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. And now I ask and greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the peace of Christ be with you. And, also with you. and we welcome you, members and visitors, whether you're uh, visiting with us for the first time or 10th time or you're a member, we're so glad that you're with us. In the pew, there is a red pew pad. Please take an opportunity during the service to register your attendance with us. Pass that red pew pad down, pass it back again, and learn the names of those who are worshiping around you and with you today. And as you stand and greet one another, I'd like to dismiss the children for Children's Church through this door on my left, your right. So stand, <laughs> greet. <laughs> Friends, as you find your seats, once again, I'd like to invite you to worship God through his ties and our offerings. Let us pray. Receive these, O oh God, your tithes and our offerings and allow them to be multiplied within this church so that we may be able to further your kingdom and hasten your return. It's in the name of your Son that we pray. Amen.
You may be seated. One of the things that uh, I often get asked about this time of the year, particularly because it involves children, is uh, what do we do or how do we, how, what, how do we pour into the life of a child or how do we raise a godly child? And what I would love to do is stand up and say, well, here's the formula. If you do one, two, three, you're going to get uh, the desired end. I'm not sure there is such an formula as much as a bit more of a process where you pour into the life of another and you create a framework uh, by which they see and then eventually own and live into. And confirmation is a part of that process. What this entire year has sought to do was to uh, teach uh, these confirmands about who they are, who God is, to instill in them a love for God, to begin that, that, uh, that journey of faith where they walk with God. And so it takes individual acts, individual acts on behalf of them, individual acts uh, on behalf of mentors and parents and, and every, that is, everybody that's involved in our confirmation process. But at the same time, it, it takes a communal intentional act as well. And the best symbol that we have in the church, the best experience that we have that owns and celebrates this communal act together where individuals profess their faith, but they do it inside of a larger context is communion. And so we always save communion or we always save confirmation for communion Sunday because it's the individual and it's the community together professing their faith, guiding and directing each other as we seek to be obedient and to walk with him. So I invite you to prepare your hearts to receive this sacrament. Let us pray. Oh God, what we do at this moment is we consecrate these elements of bread and cup. And what we pray, oh God, is as we hold the bread and as we hold the cup, and then as we'll partake of that, we hold and understand and believe in who you are and what you do. Bless us, O oh God, as we seek to celebrate your sacrificial love for us, as we do that as individuals, and as we also do that as a community. And we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In a few moments, uh, you, you will be asked to come. What you will do is, is come down the outside part of the rows. You'll come to a station that'll be outside of our, uh, of our altar. You'll be given a piece of bread. You'll dip it into the cup and then go ahead and partake of it. And we we'll invite you to return to your, your seats in, in prayerful meditation for those that'll be coming after you to receive this. Also wanna we'll invite you to be in prayer for our confirmants and, the, and their families as they walk now as members and as individuals who publicly confess their faith. Uh, today. I want to invite the choir to come at this time.
our hymn of consecration, you'll find it's hymn number 393, Spirit of the Living God. I want to invite you to stand as you're able. We're going to sing through this twice. 393, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you. 